Most people will try to tell you everything in moderation. Balance, balance, balance. This is a word you will hear over and over again. You need more balance in your life. But how many successful people claim moderation as their key to success? In fact, almost all will claim that the only reason they were successful is that they were consumed by an all-out obsession. People say you, you have to have a lot of passion for what you're doing, and it's totally true. And the reason is, uh, is because it's so hard that if you don't, any rational person would give up. It's really hard. And you have to do it over a sustained period of time. So if you don't love it, if you're not having fun doing it, and you don't really love it, uh, you're going to give up. Success came from them pursuing the passion they would have been doing regardless of the money. Success came from creating a clear, defined goal and obsessing to the point of forgetting to eat and to the point of literally not hearing people when they're talking about anything else. I remember when I was a kid, I tried so many times to pick up the guitar. I would practice for hours, but it would always end with me quitting. It was really frustrating for me at the time. I would get really into it, but I couldn't convince myself to stick with it, and I didn't know why. The last time I picked up the guitar, I decided I would just dedicate myself to practicing for 10 minutes a day. Just 10 minutes, and then after that I could do whatever I wanted. And almost always I would end up playing way longer. Pretty soon that 10 minutes turned into 8 or more hours a day. But starting with 10 minutes and just getting that daily sense of accomplishment was incredibly important for me sticking with it and allowing it to become an all-out obsession in my mind. I would forget to eat, I wouldn't want to sleep, and all I saw when people were talking to me were notes and sequences going through my head. Being obsessed means showing up and doing your work no matter what. If you're a writer and don't feel like writing, just commit to writing one page a day. If you want to play music, commit to learning one new song a week. Once you learn to just go through the motions, it will actually kickstart your brain and your instincts and creativity will take over. What do you think it would take to get to the top 1% of any field? I mean, it would probably take Malcolm Gladwell's 10,000 hours, right? That sounds pretty reasonable until you realize what the average person is actually like. The average person works a 9 to 5 that makes them miserable. They eat like shit to handle their stress and have their attention span drained by things like social media and the Kardashians. Once you look around, you realize hardly anyone else is even competing. Just for a year, commit yourself to being healthy and fit. Commit yourself to learning piano or a martial art or how to code. Go completely overboard, completely over the top. Find the point of overtraining so you know where your limits are. Obviously, getting to the top 1% is one thing, but working your way to the top of that 1% is another struggle entirely. It is going to be a grind and that is where Gladwell's 10,000 hours comes in. It's important to realize this is not going to take some crazy amount of work ethic. Lack of work ethic is not the major cause of underachievement for most people. They could harness incredible work ethic if it was directed at something they were passionate about, something with meaning. But for most, their work ethic is watered down by all sorts of distractions. In the end, the stimulation provided by a strong passion for something has the potential to replace people's needs for coffee, porn, sugar, alcohol, and whatever stimulus you might think you need to get through the day. If you pick one thing, set clearly defined goals, and allow yourself to become completely obsessed by it for one year, I truly believe you will be better at that one thing than 99% of the world.